Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In one of my recent videos, I share how I uh, shot with this 4x5 instant bag from Lomography. If you have not watched the video, please click on the link on the top right hand corner. Uh, in that video, I was using my Shamoni 4x5 camera and I did mention that uh, we need to use a spacer every time we were to compose the shot. Uh, that is to take into account that the firm plane uh, on this back is further back is about 19.4 cm uh, further away from the usual film plane if we were to shoot with the uh, sheet film. Another point I mentioned is that uh, if I were to mount this back on the camera I will need to remove the ground glass frame and that is kind of troublesome uh, if you have to do that for every shot. So in this video I will share how I 3D print a ground glass frame that take into account of the spacer and it's also much easier to remove and put back. Okay, so do come along with me as I show you how this bag is done and I also do a test shot with it. Okay, let's go. Alright, so what I have here is the new ground glass frame that I 3D printed. Uh, it looks very similar in size to the spacers that come with the back. The only difference is the height. Right. This uh, new frame is about 4mm taller than the spacers. This is to take into account of where the ground glass should be uh, in alignment with the firm plane. Right? Um, the other thing you notice here, how we can focus, is the slot here. There's no slot on the spacer, right? Because um, this spacer will be held in place when you uh, slide it into the ground glass frame. Uh, so for this, we are replacing the original ground glass frame. So I need to have this slot here so that the four um, down can be used to lock it in place. Right? So that's the only thing that I add. Right, uh, in terms of design, it's quite straightforward, mainly a lot of rectangle and I just translate the measurement from here into the 3D design. Right? Uh, here you see two rice, uh, two thin bar that was um, higher than the bottom section. These two raised bar, which we also see on the spacer design, this is to align to the camera back so that we don't uh, uh, slide in too much or too little. Right? Next is the ground glass. Uh, for this one, I am using a 3mm plexiglass or the acrylic. Right, this is frosted on one side, this side is frosted and this is the clear side. I couldn't get anything thinner than 3mm for plexiglass. Um, but if you were to make or buy your own ground glass, you can get it in uh, 2mm thickness. Right? This is just a piece I have fit uh, lying around that I use it for my other project. So I will not trim it further. As long as it's bigger than the, the instant film size, it will be good enough. And I printed four corners here. Right. Right. So this is designed for 3mm thickness. So what I intend to do is to glue two pieces of these uh, corners to the bottom of the frame. So the difference is that for these two pieces, I have um, holes on them. Uh, the idea is to maybe just screw them one on top where, whereas the other two at the bottom without the holes are simply glued in. Right. So I opt for this method of mounting because this offers a little bit more flexibility on how big the ground glass is. So if you have a bigger ground glass, you can shift the corner and mount accordingly. Right. So let me do the gluing and the screwing and then uh, we can use this for a test shoot. So the ground glass is now uh, attached to the main body by using the four corners. As you can see, two of them are glued in and two of them are screwed in. Ok, 
Okay, so now I have my Xiaomi 4x5 N2 camera all set up. So now you can see that the original ground glass frame is removed from the camera and I will put in my 3D printer back. So just slot it in. Right. So as I mentioned with the two raised bar here, the add as a stopper. So it, once you put it in place, it should not slide in and out too easily. And we have four knobs here or four die that will once we turn it it should lock the back in place right so once it's locked it should be quite stable so i'm going to use this to focus and test it up arrange the scene a little bit so i'm going to focus right on the um, label on this orange itself and i just put the paper ruler on top just to reference it right so i i've shown you what i see on the ground graph so later we'll check the picture to make sure that it is uh, there's no shifting of focus when i put in the back so i'm going to do a light meter reading iso 800 that is the iso of the instead white film and take a reading uh, incident reading point the light dome towards the camera lens and take a reading right so is um, so i'm going for a deeper depth of view f11 is showing me 1 over 25 for the shutter speed okay so let's try that So just press the ejection button to let the film roll up. There we go. Uh, let it process for a few minutes. Alright, so this is the result. I think I am quite happy with it. If you look at the label on the orange, that is the area that I focus on. I can see that the lettering on the label is still very sharp so the focusing was uh, spot on uh, there's no shift in focus when I use the back um, the ruler, the paper ruler that I place on the side the number seems to be also to be very sharp it's um, the same as what I see on the ground glass so this confirmed that the plane of focus for the 3D printer back and the instant back is the same right so i'm happy with this hi guys thank you for watching to the end of this video um you can see that the ground glass frame does work i'm not saying that it's perfect i think there is still some fine adjustment that i need to make the back lock in place but i find that one of the dust didn't really um, catch this position so maybe i have to relook at the measurement so what I will do is that I will upload this uh, 3D printing file for this bag um, whether on my website or on some other public website I will put it in my video description below what you can do is that um, you may want to download and try printing on your end if you feel that you need such a bag okay or if you have designed a better bag do let me know do share with me okay so uh, do take care stay safe stay healthy I will see you in my next video thank you bye Hi guys, we have come to the end of this video. Please like it, share it, and finally, do subscribe to my channel. And i see you at my next video. Take care. Bye.